The White House has turned up the heat on Iran. New sanctions target Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and block access to financial assets under U.S. jurisdiction. We will continue to increase pressure on Tehran until the regime abandons its dangerous activities and its aspirations, including the pursuit of nuclear weapons, increased enrichment of uranium, development of ballistic missiles, engagement in and support for terrorism, fueling of foreign conflicts, and belligerent acts directed against the United States and its allies. U.S. President Donald Trump accuses Khamenei of being responsible for what he calls Iran's hostile conduct. The Supreme Leader wields enormous power and has the final say in all state matters. After the sanctions announcement, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani slammed the Trump administration. This means the certain failure and defeat of the United States. I do not have any doubt about that from a political viewpoint. No wise person would do what they are doing these days. I feel that there is a severe frustration and a big confusion among the U.S. leaders and in the White House. The new sanctions also target military officials and Javad Zarif, Iran's foreign minister and top negotiator. Critics say sanctioning Zarif sends a message that the U.S. is not interested in talks with Iran. For people who say these are just symbolic, that's not the case at all. Uh, we've literally locked up tens and tens of billions of dollars. Uh, these sanctions will come along with additional entities where people are hiding money. So, no, these sanctions are highly effective. Tensions escalated quickly this past month when Washington blamed Iran for attacking six tankers in the Gulf region. Iran then shot down a U.S. surveillance drone, saying the aircraft had breached its airspace, something the U.S. has denied. Trump then approved a military strike in retaliation, only to abort it just minutes before it was to be carried out. The United Nations Security Council is calling for steps to defuse the crisis. The council members urge that, that differences must be addressed peacefully and through dialogue. U.S. allies have also urged restraint, fearful that a misstep by either side could trigger a war. Natasha Hussein, TRT World.